Mogadishu remains tense two days after clashes between rival security forces erupted. Roadblocks could be seen around the city Tuesday morning. Units loyal to fired Mogadishu police commander Sadiq John were reported to be redeploying from the Kilometer 4 area of the city where much of the shooting took place Sunday. Monday night, many residents could be seen leaving their homes. They were from areas controlled by prominent figures opposed to the administration of President Mohamed Farmajo. In other areas, there were protests against the country's leader. Youth with signs could be heard shouting, we don't want a dictator. There are reports of damage to streetlights and shops by some unruly demonstrators. The United States issued a new appeal to refrain from violence. It also cautioned American citizens about traveling to or residing in Mogadishu. The warning cited the most IED attacks in the capital since September 2019. Somali Prime Minister Mohamed Roble is calling for an emergency meeting to quell the violence in the capital. Roble praises civil society for its role in trying to resolve the crisis. It is unclear what actions might come out of Roble's consultations. ADN TV will keep you up to date on the latest news on the security situation in Mogadishu.